on her hot pink flying V and rocks to the violin. Yes, the violin. You really have to look twice to realize that she's not playing an electric guitar. In fact, she's a classically trained violinist from the age of four. But while she was in high school, musician Mark Wood introduced her to his signature instrument, the Viper, an electric violin of his own creation. It was probably the coolest day of my life, and it really changed the way I thought about the violin, and he electrified it. He made it rock and roll. He um, did something really different with it, and that was a really cool experience for me because it opened my eyes a lot and you know taught me that it didn't just have to be the way I have learned. For one thing, it allowed her to really move to the music, as we witnessed at her Greenwich Village apartment. It actually is a V shape, so you don't actually put your chin down, therefore I have so much more room to move, and there's a strap that goes around it, so physically the violin can stay up without me having to hold it, which frees up my whole body. It's not just pop music, it's pop culture. Today, Sarah performs at all kinds of venues, on stage with Cobra Starship, at a Knicks home game at Madison Square Garden, even Fashion Week. Now when it comes to being pretty in pink, Charna says it's part of the plan. She's always loved the color and she doesn't mind flaunting her feminine side. I'm a girl and I'm feminine and I want to be feminine. And I, you know, I do play a very rock and roll style of music, which typically is a masculine thing to do, and I want to make it feminine. For Charnas, it's all high voltage, from her shocking pink violin to her supercharged performance. Stephanie Simon, New York One.